Greetings, seekers of the arcane. Welcome to a new cycle of knowledge. Today, we embark on an enigmatic expedition, creating a mystical bookstore using the art of the Blazer server. Hello, everyone. Welcome to C Sharp Gold. Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to start a new tutorial series. Uh, we're going to try to create uh, a bookstore application using blazor server so let's get started so the first thing obviously is to create a new project it's going to be a blazor server and um, so we name the projects and all and we choose the destination we give the solution name i prefer to give it uh, a different name than the projects and we're gonna choose .NET 7, which is the last one. I'm not gonna do any authentication. So now we have this project uh, created for us. I I like to test it, give it a try the first time I uh, I run it, so I see if it's everything if everything is working fine. Then, uh, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff here that we don't want. So I I prefer starting from scratch so I delete all the stuff that we don't need uh, I want a blank page empty there's nothing in it so I can create whatever I want without getting distracted by all the the templates and also I'm gonna do, remove all the stuff from the main layout I'm gonna just let the, the body which is our page and and that's all Oh no, of course I forgot to remove the the reference to the stuff that we deleted. So now we're good to go. Let's go. Now we have a blank. We still have hello world. We can remove this from the index. Forgot to, to delete stuff from there. So uh, index, remove the stuff from there and leave the page title. And we're good to go. I guess, yeah. So we have now a blank solution. Now the next thing is to install the pa Nugget packages necessary for this uh, project and there are five so so you don't forget anyone you need to install five. First one is entity framework core this one is going to help us create our database without touching SQL then tools this one is going to let us use the package manager uh, the package console i guess something like this yeah and also we need the sql the entity framework sql and uh, we need the identity so we can add uh, stuff like user login register and all that and it's identity not identity core okay and finally we can add finally the, the identity framework uh, the, the identity in, the identity entity framework all right we've set up our project cleaned up the template files and installed the necessary packages so i guess now we're ready to start building our bookstore application in the next uh, episode, we we'll start designing our database using Entity Framework Core. We'll define our entities and relationships and create our DB context. So uh, stay tuned. 